Hi, this is Miss Carrie, and I'm going to read a class favorite, The Interrupting Chicken, by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for Little Red Chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. Oh, a bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read you one of your favorites. And of course, you're not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa. I'll be good. I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, Oh, ho, ho, what lovely children. Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when out jumped Little Red Chicken and said, Don't go inside. Don't, don't, don't. She's a witch. She's a witch. Whew. So Hansel and Gretel... Hansel and Gretel didn't. Oh, the end. Chicken! <gasps> yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. Oh, I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Well, let's try another story. I'll be good. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep, dark wood. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer her, answer him when... Out jumped Little Red Chicken and said, Don't talk to strangers! Don't do it! Don't talk to strangers! Whew, so Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted two stories. And now you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes, yes. Now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story. And I'll be good. I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was, a, was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling when out jumped Little Red Chicken and said, don't panic, don't panic. It was just an acorn. Don't panic. So Chicken Little didn't. Whew, the end. Chicken! <gasps> yes, Papa, you did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story? said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, uh, here we go, here we go. Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all... <laughs> Papa? Papa. Good night, Papa. And little chicken got into bed and went to sleep with her daddy. The end.